back in wartime Britain, aren't we? Glenn Miller and In The Mood. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk to a trio that are growing in popularity and demand, performing music from this era. They're called the Rockabilly Dolls. Let's have a quick listen to what they sound like. Two members of the group, Hannah and Katie, join us on the line this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, now, I guess, uh, Hannah, I'll start with you. Tell us how you got into singing in the first place. Well, for me, I started out as a dancer, and I always wanted to be like a prima ballerina. And then I got into amateur dramatics when I was 11. And that's basically how it started. Because in that group, we do like pantos and like shows in like the spring and then we'd also do cabarets and that's where like i really found my passion for singing hey katie what about you um i've been doing a little bit of singing since i was quite young i went to quite a few young voices events and stuff like that um the more i did it the more i found that i really liked doing it so for anyone not familiar with what you do or this style of music just tell us about the kind of music you perform we do harmonies, so where we have a lower voice, a medium voice, and a higher voice, and we put them together to create a lovely blended sound. Now, I'm, I, I, I've seen pictures of you, um, and I'm making a huge assumption here that you guys weren't round in the 1940s. What attracted you both to, to kind of singing this style of music? Because it's the sort of music you don't really hear on the radio anymore. back some old classics from um, the time where World War II was happening and I think it's really something that people don't think about anymore and I think it should be made more of a um, brought back classic. Now, I know older people love to hear this kind of music, and when we've done road shows, uh, sort of 1940s and wartime events, um, a lot of the old people, you know, they, they sing along with it. But are you finding a younger audience appreciating this music now, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. They seem to, like, when we've, like, at our like, first memorial show, we had some young kids there, and they really enjoyed it. Because the, the, the music from the sort of late 1930s and, and early 40s is very melodic, isn't it? In a, in a way that sort of some pop music these days isn't. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I'd also say it's kind of catchy. Like, the tunes get very stuck in your head, and especially the beat. And how do you decide what songs to sing? Because these songs aren't um, traditionally easy because they have these harmonies. And if you listen to the Andrews Sisters, of course, people are familiar with those harmonies. And to sound authentic, you've got to get that right, haven't you? H how do you choose the songs and, and, and how do you make sure that you, you're sort of delivering them in the right way? Um, we just pick songs that we, we ourselves enjoy. We want this to be a fun experience for ourselves and also for our audiences. So I guess it's picking something that we also like and we know the audience will join in with. So something that's a popular classic, but also fun for us. Like Don't sit, on, uh, sit Under the Apple Tree, of course. Everybody knows that, no matter what age you are. Um, and in terms of, of, you know, performing live, do you, do you have to practice loads? Yes, yes, we do. We meet up at least once a week when we've got the time, because it does take a lot of practice to get it nailed. And how long have you been doing this? Because you, you've not been together a long time, have you? No, we've been a group probably officially since August. We've known each other beforehand due to amateur, amateur dramatics. So we've been singing together since probably about September. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about the, the, the look, um, because I've seen photos and I've seen some videos on your social media. And I saw on your social media recently you'd done a photo shoot at uh, Apedale Valley Light Railway. Um, how was that? And, and was that was that kind of a fun thing to do? Right, yeah. Um, we got to go in some uh, different trains, a train from uh, World War One, um, and 
sing a few songs on take a few pictures and how do you get that how do you get the look because i've seen that when i when i, I saw your your live that you did a week or so ago you look very different to how you do when you're performing on stage uh, do you do you have a stylist or do you do all that the hair and the, the makeup and everything do you do that yourselves we do it all ourselves it does take a lot of time but i think it's from protest and yeah. we take a, we look at a lot of pictures from the time and we want to get it nailed so just a lot of time. Yeah. Now I know you're you're growing in popularity, and and I saw from your live you've got loads of things coming up. Tell us about some of the highlights and some of the things you've got planned this year. Uh, we've got a event in May at um, Leak, which is a Borderland Voices um, who have been awarded a Heritage Lottery. Sorry, uh, pardon me if I'm reading off notes. <laughs> um, a heritage lottery grant to explore through creativity uh, the women's land army and their contribution to the war the event ends with a 1940s extravaganza um where they'll there'll be family fun filled day with lots of activities and experiences from the 1940s finishing with a band which is like a big band uh, evening of dance which is free of entry Oh, it sounds absolutely amazing. And uh, you also collaborate with, um, I was going to say, the Twits. T tell us about that and who the Twits are. Um, the Twits, oh, they're from the Staffordshire Regiment. Um, uh, they do um, different war like recreations, don't they? Yeah. Um, yes, they do. do some lovely, like, um, World War One songs audience participation and uh, they're really good to perform alongside of because they get the audience up and going like we said audience participation and it's just a really fun evening with them now we couldn't let the interview go by without mentioning Sarah of course now Sarah is supposed to be in with us today we were supposed to be in the studio but of course her little girl's been ill um, overnight so we wish Sarah's little girl all the best um, but the, the three of you together are absolutely amazing and I've seen seen some of your videos um, I, I just want to say you're absolutely wonderful and you're keeping the music of an era alive that um, I think actually would be really easy to forget do, do you enjoy performing this music and do you like to see people's faces when you do it Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. It's it's such a good like atmosphere, especially when you're singing it. Especially when you see like all the faces of like older and younger generations just like light up. It's it's definitely a very good experience. Yeah, definitely. Well, May will be my first um, time seeing you live, and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. But Hannah and Katie, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning. Thank you. Thank you.